PTSD chinchilla went to some place bad. Ninja buddy. Hey, hey. Where the hell did you go? Uh, normally when I do things like this, you run around like a sociopath. But you are truly fucking gone. Dude. Where, where are you? And please come back from the bad place. You're not there anymore. This is not an uncommon thing with him. Are you back yet? Is this a normal chinchilla thing to do? Or is this from your past traumas and your neglected previous owner? Or are you just sitting there thinking evil plots of how to murder me in my sleep whenever I'm on the fuck? Because I keep using this damned flash. I really don't want to scare him. But I can't keep my arms stretched out like this anymore. Hey, Ninja. What's going on? I mean, this is o over two minutes that you're sort of barn. He's not flicking his tail. He's not twitching his ears. Besides that glazed look in his eyes, I've got no read on his behavior. Very calmly and very gently position myself off of the couch. And this happens so randomly and so suddenly. He could be running around one minute, and then this. But if I tap on the food container, with the food container something that I've been training him with, he'll come right to me. Where are you, ninja? He is, he is back. Hi, Ninja. I don't have, I have the spoon, but I have no oats in it. What is up with this little dude? really bright. You okay, little guy? 
plumping up pretty nice though. Hmm. That looks like aggressive posturing right there. I'm gonna back off. Where's this tail? Okay, as long as it's not pinned straight. Okay, he's coming back. This is the longest I've seen him sit still. I mean, he's clearly not stuck. He can easily get up and down on and off the ottoman, no problem at all, or this little purple bit. And the yellow ones are just wheezing his little, I guess you can call them Mario blocks. We just put them around the house so uh make little obstacles for him. Try to simulate his natural environment as much as possible. So we just got some old sugar containers and we're actually using them to hold their food. Oh. Hello? Were your ears burning? One's clipped, which means you're probably a pet store chinchilla. You likely probably, you likely came from the whole concept of a puppy mill of overbreeding and overbreeding because you're a cute and adorable little product. And then you were sold to someone who neglected the crap out of you. Welcome to the warren of tangled wires, my friend. You will be accepted. 